Hi, I'm Gil from Makeup Designery. This is my model, Sean. Today, we're going to do a foam latex prosthetic application. This is our foam latex appliance that we're going to apply on Sean. In order to prepare this appliance, we need to remove the flashing. The flashing is this extra bit that's around the perimeter of this appliance. To remove the flashing, I take my thumb and my forefinger and grab it where the appliance is the thinnest. My thumb and my forefinger of my opposite hand, and I gently pull the two pieces to separate the flashing from the appliance. To begin gluing the appliance, I'm going to fit the prosthetic to his face. I'm going to line his nose up with the appliance nose, his nostrils, and I'm going to check the fit at the inside corner of his tear ducts. I want to make sure there's not too much appliance at the inside of the eyes, and I'm checking the fit at the outside of the eye. I'm going to use Prosade, which is a prosthetic adhesive, to glue the appliance on. I'm going to apply the adhesive with a cotton tip applicator to the bridge of the nose. It's important that the adhesive doesn't go on too thin or too thick. I'm going to spread it out so that it covers his entire nose area. Applying the adhesive a little wet will allow me to manipulate this appliance if the fit is not right. Now I'm going to move the nose into place. So this will allow me to lift and move the piece to make sure it gets lined up. Once the fit is right, I can give it a good firm press and the appliance will be secure. Here I'm applying adhesive to the inside corner of the eyes. I'm also applying adhesive up and around the brow. And then I'm going to set the corners of the eyes into the adhesive. Now I'm going to apply adhesive lightly to the wig cap. I'm going to continue down the center of his face, beneath his nose, down to his upper lip. I'm using the Q-tip to press the appliance into the adhesive. I'm going to pull back the appliance, and I'm going to apply adhesive from the center line about one inch outwards in a strip that runs all the way down his face. As the adhesive dries, it goes clear. Right around the mouth here, the adhesive is very, very sticky. I need a powder to remove the stick from his lips and his eyes. Being very generous with the powder, I don't need any color to the powder at all. I just need to remove stickiness. I'm going to use the 320 brush to apply powder to the inside corner of Sean's eye. So I'm going to use a 99 alcohol and a brush to lift and flatten that edge against the skin. I'm going to slide the edge of this flat brush underneath the appliance, and then I'm going to push the edge so that it lays down against his skin. The 99 alcohol helps to loosen the prosade and allows the appliance to lift up out of the adhesive so that any of these edges can be smoothed back down. Using the zero powder, I'm going to powder the edge to remove this tack and to help press the edge into the adhesive. Here is an area here, here, and here that will require the use of some ridge filler. I'm going to use some Prosade Cream Adhesive as my ridge filler. I'm going to use an adult tongue depressor to scoop out a small amount of the ridge filler. I can apply it towards an edge that needs to blend towards the skin. I sweep the palette knife down alongside the edge, up to blend it, and with a gentle scraping motion, I remove any excess 
We're going to apply a layer of prosate adhesive over the entire prosthetic appliance using a textured sponge. This prosate will seal the appliance so that the color will take better. Place small dots of prosate to help to add textures that will help to blend this prosthetic into the skin. Apply this prosade soft, gently. I want it to blend and fade into Sean's face. 